Good morning, everybody. We're here at Magic Kingdom doing the Be Our Guest breakfast at um, Be Our Guest at Magic Kingdom in Fantasyland. Um, this vlog probably won't be super long because I've already shown a lot of Magic Kingdom. Maybe if there's something like, ooh, I'll point it out. But, um, you know, you've seen a lot of our usual Magic Kingdom things, but I wanted to do at least a little bit today. So I got the feast a la Gaston, but um, without meat, I got extra taters. Squeak dude, what'd you get? I got the three piece French toast. Yo. And they made it an adult size for me, which is cool. Yes, she got a Fifi's French toast, usually on the kids' meal. Now it's adult size. Ramdu? I also got the same thing, adult size, and it comes with a little fruit salad. And then, of course, you always get a, a pastry tray. One oh, yes. Tables. Yeah, we always get a one per table pastry tray. And just so you know, at breakfast, you can order the gray stuff. And if you're on the dining plan, it'll count as a snack credit. So feel free to eat up. shout out. And Maggie, what'd you get? He's still a guest with me. Yep, he got meat with his. So yeah, we're sitting in the Squeak Doo's uh, favorite room here. It's our final day for Squeak Doo's um, Disney World birthday trip. and. Next week, we'll actually be in Japan doing their Disney. So, um, yeah, we're having a good time, and I will show some interesting things at Magic Kingdom. And we've also got Snow White Storybook Dining tonight, so I'll show a little bit of that as well in this vlog. It's a good time. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mickey! How are you today? Hi, Mickey. Minnie, how are you? Minnie, you look divine as always. Alright everyone, so we just got done with breakfast, then we saw some Move It Shake It Parade, then we met Mickey and, and, Minnie. and Minnie in their birthday garb. There was rumor though that like they're getting rid of the human photographers for a fast photo pass box. Um, I don't know what that... Uh, entails but um yeah uh, we had a human photographer when is that supposed to start the I thought it had already started and she said something like ignore that box so ignore the box it okay like it's a box. It, or maybe it was supposed to but the box ain't working so or, yeah cuz like you know the you want your whole group to be in there and yeah yeah so I don't know, but um, we're having a good time so far. We're getting ready. We're well, going to be doing... Watch the steps. Watch the steps, It'll yes. It would make for an interesting vlog. It would make for an interest. I could add a sound effect. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to be doing some boing around Magic Kingdom. We're heading to Space Mountain, the Big Thunder, then back here for Tony's for lunch. So I need to remember to budget my guts a little bit better. Oh. <laughs> Just got done on Space Mountain. I love it. It's good. And because of the Tron coaster, they redid the exit quite a bit. You still got Lost and Found bot here. And you can still see all the places you can visit off roading, off the planet, blah, blah, blah. And then you can see Crater Caverns and the Robo Dog. Hi, Robo Dog! It's good. And you keep moving forward, and here is the Coral Moons of Pisces 7. Wouldn't mind visiting that. Never really done much underwater. So that would be a fun thing to uh, attempt. And you notice we're not on an escalator with a really cool green screen. It's a dark blue screen now. And there's the robot bartender. Gonna get us hooked up there. Maybe with some Stella Rosa or the... Um, Stella Artois, and you notice there's no more moving escalator or walkway. 
you just sort of go down this tunnel. You keep going down the tunnel. You got some stars up above you, so that's always cool. And you keep marching and marching. It is a decidedly long march, but it's all ramped. So if someone in your party needs the ramp, they're in good shape. It's just a lot of ramp. And then I kind of like this. It's, it looks like a fancy space hotel or something. Maybe like you just finished your space rocket ride on the Space Mountain attraction and it lets you off at the starport and then you transfer directly to your space hotel. So yeah, overall, I like that you don't have to walk outside and you know, that just felt really weird. So we're inside, it's air conditioned and it's good. It still has some of the wonder. Kind of miss the green screen and um escalator because this is a bit of a hike but overall I can definitely say I approve of the changes is it perfect no but it's a compromise that I can certainly bark at and then you just head to the left here and you're at the Space Mountain gift shop woohoo good times Space Mountain it's my fave ready to ride some Dumbo and we're also going to take a look at the Tron roller coaster construction um, and see how far along they're coming. I think they're coming along rather nicely on it so we'll see what's going on with Tron roller coaster construction. Ride some Dumbo. The trick for Dumbo is to make it go up and down. That gives you the fun ride but I need to go up to see the construction. You can see that big crane there. And we're off. Woohoo! This is some quality Dumbo in. I also underestimated how uh, hefty I am. Yeah, how's that Tron coaster construction coming? Yeah, uh, eh, I couldn't really make it out too clearly, but the secret to Dumbo make it go up and down. So, like, yeah, you can see the metal scrims and 
Yeah, down and now up. Woo! Yeah, because some people may say, I love both the original and Tim Burton's remake of Dumbo, but some people criticize this ride saying it's maybe not super interesting. So, like, a way to fix that is to have it go up and down. And now I'm stuck. It doesn't want to go down for me. Okay, here we go. And here we go. These are my pro tips for Dumbo. Well, yeah, Tron roller coaster is coming along beautifully, you know. Thanks, Timothy. Yeah. Yes, walk to the exit. You don't run like a uh, all willy nilly like a fool. So here we are at Artist Point for the Snow White um, character dining here. The menu is like a faux leather thing, or it might be legit leather. So the Queen's here. See? Queen, she ran by. Yeah. Queen is quick, quicker than um, vlogging, and uh, so um, storybook dining. Yeah, as I kind of showed real briefly, the um, menus are leather bound. They bring out all of the appetizers. They do, yeah. The queen would have in her apothecary. Sounds like we're for an apothecary. Sounds good to me. Yeah. And um, they bring out all of the appetizers, and I already promptly forgot what all of these were, but um, I think one that might be like crispy mushrooms. Yeah, the one Raggy is holding might be a crispy mushroom. There goes uh, Grumpy. And Dopey went somewhere, but this is Artist Point. It looks different than I remember. The it's yeah. The silverware's rounded. This is a cool experience so far. Oh yes, all of the autographs. Is the evil queen there? The queen. The queen. I mean, she's not gonna call herself the evil queen. She should. Well, I don't know. So yeah, so this might be mushroom thing. Was that a mushroom thing, Raggy? You just tried it. I guess it was. I was thinking it'd be shrimp. I think this is shrimp, the thing that looks like shrimp. We're not foodies. I have no idea what uh, business this is. The dwarves are here. <laughs> Grumpy's a man after my own heart sometimes, you know. Like, and pe and like people wonder, Grumpy, why is Grumpy so grumpy? Well, maybe the world is just so stupid all of the time. Like, do we ever think maybe we make, we put Grumpy in this position? Do, do we ever stop to think of that? <laughs> but um, yeah, so far, I haven't tried any of the food, so I'll um, try and get back with you guys, but I feel like this is cool. Like, yeah, this is, this is a nice, it was in the past. Yes. 
Right. It was uppity and snobby back in the day. Very yeah. Dark and yes. Yeah. There was like you're allowed to do park attire back in the day, but they clearly didn't really want that. But um, we got um a beautiful view outside. You can see blinding sunlight, but I see a beautiful view. But yeah, overall, this is just good. I like what they've done with the place. So. Props to you, Snow White. Props to you, Evil Queen. Major props to the Queen. Um, tune is done, the words don't mean a thing. Isn't this a silly song for anyone to sing? Woo, 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 da, 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 da. Oh no! Hey, Dopey! That's the silly song. Yes, the words don't even mean a thing, and so. We got some drinks. Rami had a drink, and um, oh, it's all good. But um, this is something blue potion. Oh my gosh, there's blueness in it. Okay. You want me to pour mine and you can film it? Sure. Pour that bad boy in there, Squeak Doo. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, oh, I can. Look, I can confirm that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. Just gotta figure out how to work this thing. It's an iPhone there, Grumpy. Think I got it. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. There we go, Grumpy. Yep. Yep, looks like we got it there. Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> Did you get a <laughs> See? Now you're... Can we get a picture with each other? Yeah. Oh, so All righty, everyone. So I didn't uh, come back and give some food updates. We um, put the blue in our lemon potion. It's pretty good. It's a lemonade concoction. They gave us some vegetarian appetizers. Um, this is a spring roll with some chili sauce and some spicy tomatoes. And in terms of dinner, I got, it's not on the menu, but I got um, a vegan chicken with like some taters and roasted vegetables. It's all right, it's a very garlicky, but I mean, I've eaten worse in my day. And Squeak Doo, you got the, Yoki. Vegetables and yogi, and did you like it? <laughs> yep. Sometimes expression um, says know, all. Um, I'll probably just give a full, 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 full. <laughs> She's, <laughs> she I does, <laughs> she, sp it left her speechless. Yeah, I'll give you a review later. <laughs> full review later, okay. So I guess we'll sign off at the hotel and um, then yeah. go ahead. And, uh, Ramdu, uh, what do you think of your Noki? You got the same thing as Squeak Doo. It's the Walter nature. It's very good, but it's very filling. Very good, but very filling. I could have yes. like, like half, this half of the amount. But the uh, tomato salad was very good. Like tomato salad. Yeah, the spring roll was pretty good too. Raggy, what did you get? Chicken. Chicken. Brother's Grim Chicken. Brother's Grim Chicken. And you liked it? It was very good. 
Very good. All righty. So we're chowing down. Yeah, it's it's good. Very um, garlicky, and we'll get um, a more thorough review from certain parties in a little bit. Hey, you know, it's all good. You know, the important thing is that you try and you experiment. Oh wow, look look at that stuff that Ramdu has. I am glad I did not order that. Woo wee. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. It's like a ganache. Like a cream sauce. Yeah. Ooh. That looks. That looks not good. I am. I'm glad I made the choice that I made. Yes. Alrighty. So we'll chow down and maybe get some thorough, more thorough reviews in a little bit before we sign off tonight. And we'll we'll show dessert, yes, yeah. So and some evil queen meetings, lots of fun things going on here. I'm liking this experience. Food's decent enough, I guess. It's it's artist point, so it's artsy food, you know. That's the main thing. But it is a fun vibe here, definitely. It gets a thousand points for fun. Um, International Human Rights Court um, wants to talk to you. Something about human rights violations. It's probably nonsense, though. Do you always travel with your court jester? Yes. <laughs> you know, if you can't laugh, you cry. So this is the dessert time at the Snow White um, Storybook Dining here at Artist Point. And we got here some gooseberry pie, some... Um, chocolate mousse with um, green jewels and um, a poison apple which is actually a chocolate truffle. I really like the chocolate truffle and the um, gooseberry pie. The um, mousse, I don't like. Squeak Dude, what do you think? Um, it's good. Um, I like the chocolate truffle. Um, mm -hmm. I like the mousse. Um, the pie is basically just like an apple pie taste now. It's kind of boring because I don't really know what the gooseberry is. So. And now we know it's an apple wannabe. And Romdi, what do you think? Um, I like the truffle, the poison apple, which is like a chocolate truffle. The um, miner's treasure, which is the mousse. It's a little, uh, yeah. little I'm not crazy about it, but I mean it tastes good. And then the pie, yes, it's a very similar to like a little apple pie. It's good. It's kind of not what I was expecting, but it's good. Okay. And Ragnu, what do you think? I was inspired by the land of chocolate and it's all good. There we go. So, um, there you have it. So, um, one person gives it all the seal of approval and then... Yeah, a little bit here and there, you have your faves, you know, but overall, you know, it's not the worst thing I could do to myself, so, so, what, what is it again? A kiss goodnight. Kiss goodnight. From the queen, it's her thank you for admiring her. Uh oh, very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's like the box the Huntsman brings her. I, I feel it. Oh. Yes. So we'll go ahead and try this popcorn here. 
delivers what it promises. There are no surprises in the taste there. And a chocolate ganache heart here. I don't know if I ate the whole bad boy in one fell swoop or not. It's good, so I like it. It's good. And now we're doing some mining. Dumpy, grumpy, and dopey in the house. Almost called him Dumpy. Yeah, grumpy. Yeah, dopey. But to a lesser extent of the yeah, grumpy. Grumpy is a man after my own heart. The world thinks it's us, but it's them. You will never get bored doing this dining experience. There's always something happening, and I like it. Alrighty, everyone. So we're back at our room here. We're overlooking beautiful Magic Kingdom and uh, Bay Lake here at sunset. It's good. I like it. Oh, ain't that the sug? So yeah, um, speak to you. Honest opinion about the dinner. Okay, so let me throw in a few caveats before I give my opinion. Um, so I have like the palate of a five-year-old, basically. No, no, just, just, just you give know, your opinion. I'm really, really picky, and I'm super yeah, no. hard to please when it comes to food. Um, Me too. Yeah, they, they know that about us already. So, no. so the opinion. You're okay. covering it up. The drink was really good. Mm -hmm. It had a fun interactive element of pouring the blueness into the lemonade. Mm -hmm. um, so it kind of felt like you were doing a spell. Mm -hmm. um, then I went to the bathroom and I got back and there was like a spring roll, like two spring rolls on a plate. And I'm like, oh no, is that what I'm going to have to eat? <laughs> yeah. um, and sorry if you like spring rolls but I found it repulsive huh. I picked it up and it felt like gross flesh it did feel slimy like did you notice like I would start to pick it up and then put it back down like oh Snow White's coming can't eat now I did notice yeah Save how about Snow that White. Um, yeah I'm so sorry I found it repulsive yeah it is what it is you um, know the um, gnocchi, which was the main dish, um, I guess I was spoiled by having the gnocchi at Tony's today. Mm-hmm. Like, it was okay, but it had a nasty taste. Would you say it had a nasty taste, though? It was a really thick taste. I think it was the sauce. It was just very thick and very, it was very, very filling. Okay. Um, yeah. My thing was really garlicky. I kept saying it was filling so that people would understand when I don't need a lot. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so you guys hear it first. When Squeak Doo says it's filling, that's a code word. Well, but sometimes it is actually filling. And I think I already said what I thought of the desserts. They were pretty good. Um, so the yeah. drinks, the drink and the desserts were good. Um, but I think I found my version of Tony's. Uh, you know okay. how you were saying, like, oh, it's a fun place because of the atmosphere and vibe, but I but the really food like the was food. not good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the Snow White dinner was spot on with customer service. Oh, that oh, was and a really cool thing with the um, with the popcorn at the end. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I did that. You. Yes, because when I walked in front of the Evil Queen, I bowed and I said, "Your Majesty." There we go, yeah, so, um... There we go, yeah. I trolled her. You know. I think she just thought you were the court jester. She told you the court jester. Yeah, I'm the court jester. You always travel with the court jester. Yeah, I know. I said, yes. Indeed you, indeed you do, and that's called your privilege. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and conclude the vlog here. You have any final thoughts, Ramdu? No, yeah, Ramdu was a little like eh, about the um, about the whole room situation. And the words of and if you can't say anything nice, and anything. the whole Tony's situation really made her unhappy. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, it, today we didn't end Magic Kingdom on a good day today. This oh, isn't... We did have some fun, but by and large, this was a pretty bad way to end the trip. This was not a good Magic Kingdom day. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, sign off with um, some fireworks. Uh, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. You guys know you're the best fans of any YouTuber in the entire world. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you again with some other really fun and wacky Disney vlogs.